the terrifying scale of Australia's bushfire disaster is beginning to emerge. At least 71 bushfires are burning across New South Wales. Already among the worst in that country's history, with more than 12 million acres scorched. They've killed close to half a billion animals. Worst hit the small Southern Highlands community of Balmoral. 20,000 people are tonight in the path of the mega fire rolling down the Blue Mountains into the town of Lithgow. Last week, I visited the Blue Mountains to see the scale of the devastation from this year's bushfires. We visited Mount Victoria, an area that had been particularly badly hit. Nothing quite prepares you for seeing something like that. As we drove into the National Park, the burn got slowly and slowly worse until we got to a point where there was almost nothing left at all. The eerie part was the quietness. There was only an occasional bird call, but otherwise, complete and utter silence. But this isn't all doom and gloom. I think we've seen from this the global community's ability to pull together in crisis when we need each other most. The RFS, Wires, Red Cross and hundreds of other charities have raised over 500 million from worldwide donations to help restore communities, plant new trees and aid injured animals and seeing celebrities using their social influence to help spread awareness and raise donations was a really powerful thing. What seemed like a miracle was the recent three-day deluge of rain we'd had that had broken the drought and helped to put out many of the fires. We saw the beginnings of new shoots and flowers stemming from some of the burnt trees, the first signs of life taking back over.